Climate change could adversely impact 65 percent of humpback whale breeding grounds this century. That's according to a collaborative study by the Pacific Whale Foundation and the University of Hawaii. And joining me this morning to talk to us about this study and how we can protect these critical ocean habitats is Pacific Whale Foundation chief scientist Jens Curry. Good morning, Jens. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Happy to be here. Course, what was the goal of this study? And let's talk about that key finding you guys found. Yeah, so uh, we had two, two main goals uh, when we started this study. The first was to look at what do ocean temperatures look like by the end of the century under various climate change scenarios and really getting at a fine scale resolution of about two square kilometers, not only here in Hawaii, but oceans throughout the globe. And then the second is, what does this mean for critical habitats, such as the breeding grounds uh, for humpback whales? And what we're able to show is that if current economic, social, and technological trends continue, 35% uh, of humpback whale breeding grounds will be impacted by the end of the century. And this number jumps to 67% uh, if fossil fuel industries continue to increase as they have been. And this is when we begin to see an impact to Hawaii's breeding ground right here in everybody's backyard. Is, these are very important findings, of course, as we look towards the future. And I know here in Hawaii, we want humpback whales to stay. So what are the next steps that we can take in order to make sure they do stick around and you know, they're here for our future generations? Yeah, so I mean, there's two key points uh, that I think we should highlight here today. The first is uh, we need all the protections in place that we can in key uh, habitats for humpback whales. That includes breeding grounds, such as here in Hawaii, but also feeding grounds, for example, Alaska and British Columbia. We want these humpback whales to be as resilient as possible for warming oceans, which will happen uh, in the future and by the end of the century. And so we want to make sure that they have of being resilient to that and adapting. The second is it's not all doom and gloom. And so this study showed that the scale at which ocean temperatures will increase and the rate at which it'll increase will change based on what we do with greenhouse gas emissions going in the future. And so this will require uh, regional and, and uh, global support to reduce greenhouse gas emissions through policy and conservation measures uh, to ensure that humpback whales continue to be uh, the great success story they they have been as, as they've recovered from the brink of extinction um, as a result of whaling. So I think those are two key things that, that we want your viewers to do. And I mean, we're showing some videos of the humpback whales right now, and they're just absolutely majestic creatures. Um, you know, for people who are just used to maybe seeing them in videos like this, or maybe you get to see one if you're lucky enough out on the ocean. Um, is there something you know about humpback whales that not a lot of people know that you'd like to share with us? Sure, uh, so I mean, let's talk about Hawaii and why they're here. And so humpback whales in Hawaii are here to breed and, and give birth to their young. So you have the females coming here and they're giving birth uh, to their, their young, which um, they've carried for about nine to 11 months. And then we have uh, females that are coming here and, and they want to breed. And of course, uh, you need the males for that. And that brings us to, you know, one of the, you know, my favorite uh, behavior to observe out there on the water when we're doing research, which are competition pods, uh, which are groups of humpback whales competing for that position next to a female that's ready to, uh, to breed and then head back to the feeding grounds. And, and there's lots of aerial displays, there's lots of competition and there's um, humpback whales breaching on top of each other. And, and in some cases it can get pretty rough and tough. And so it's exciting to see it when you're out there on the water. And so if there's lots of surface activity splashing and multiple whales, you're probably observing that um, breeding competition. Well, I think a lot of us just learned something new today. I know next time if I see a big group of them out there, I'm gonna think of you. But before I let you go, where can viewers learn more about this study or learn more about humpback whales in general? Yeah, so this study was published in a special issue of Frontiers in Marine Science, uh, focused on climates and whales. And so viewers can uh, download that paper for free there and read it, or they can visit Pacific Whale Foundation's website at pacificwhale.org forward slash research. 
read about our research, additional studies going on, and also download that paper and, and learn more and take a deeper dive into uh, the future of humpback whales here in Hawaii. Awesome. Great information. Thank you for joining us this morning, Jens. We appreciate it. Of course. Thank you for having us. We'll have this full